What's up guys, something crazy just happened in the Nifty Gateway community. I just wanted to make a quick video explaining what happened, kind of digging deep and showing it to you in real time what is happening on the market. It's actually kind of crazy. There's an artist called Twisted Vacancy who dropped on Nifty Gateway over the past couple months and actually was supposed to have a drop this upcoming week. And as you can see, anything kind of with this color palette is actually going like crazy for sale right now. Like it's getting put up for sale. And I think the reason is because nobody wants to own it because of the scandal that is actually occurring like right at this moment. So a lot of Twisted Vacancy's artwork is basically being listed for sale. See another one. We can just watch this entire feed come through. You're just going to see a ton of pieces for sale. 888 is actually purchasing a ton of them. I'm surprised 888 is actually purchasing all of these pieces considering the fact that the scandal that I'm about to show you actually occurred because I thought I, I honestly thought 888 had a lot of respect for the artist but if he actually knows what is going on and the fact that Twisted Vacancy is a blatant copycat of this other artist who's absolutely talented called Ardnex, pull up the Instagram, then I'm not sure that I would be the one wanting to own these basically fraudulent pieces. So if we take a look at this account, like you can literally see, look at the colors of our next pieces. The style, it's, it's basically the same exact style as these pieces from Twisted Vacancy. And now if we dive deep into exactly what happened, if we actually look at the post that Ardnex posted, kind of explaining the entire controversy. The past couple months, his friends have been reporting to him that this guy named Twisted Vacancy has been copying kind of his stuff. He noticed it, he says he noticed it, but it's not exact copy paste, but it's basically the same as the lines, same colors, the entire approach, and then copy pasted certain elements of the work. Then he found out that his work was sold for $80,000, right? And as an artist, if someone steals your work and actually starts to sell it, especially for as large am amounts as what Twisted Vacancy is currently selling, like let, let's go check out Twisted Vacancy's um, super rare right now. Like people are paying 1.5 ETH. So this piece was literally sold for 13K. 7.7 ETH at the time by an actual art collector. Now, when this art collector finds out that Twisted Vacancy basically is a copycat of Ardnex, I don't know what's gonna happen to the market. As we can see on Nifty Gateway, it's obviously crashing. A lot of people are listing it for sale because nobody really wants to own an artist that is basically plagiarizing the entire work of another artist. So it'll be really interesting to see what happens to this work. I mean, objectively speaking, like it's pretty good work. Like. I mean, it's pretty good um, and it makes sense because if you're copying something else that's already successful, if you do it well enough, then it's going to be good. The issue is it is absolutely not original. Um, the, the lines and the colors are exactly the same. Like it's very easy to tell that is a blatant plagiarism of our next work. So let's take a look at the article real quick. When crypto art and physical art collide by the Finery Report, Indonesian illustrator Kendra Ahimsa, who goes by Ardnex. <laughs> Ardnex is Kendra backwards. That's pretty funny. Ardnex and Twisted Vacancy. Look at this. It's basically the same. Same exact style. Same exact colors. This mountain and this mountain. The exact same mountain. Literally. That's crazy. This mountain is the same as this mountain. These trees are the same as these trees. Like, there's holes in these things, and it's the same thing. It's, it's literally the same thing. That's crazy. A lot of people have been messaging me about your work. Hey, thank you for reaching out. This is Instagram DMs between Twisted Vacancy and Ardenex. I took my time evolving from time to time with acrylic, et cetera, et cetera. Let me walk you through my process of creating the piece. I draw each of my elements manual, even though I'm taking the reference. I'm going to do not using the same color X. I take a look deeper to some of your works and even when I can guarantee we're not using the same color hex. So this person, Twisted Vacancy, is literally saying, <laughs> is justifying what he's doing by saying we're not using the same exact color hex. Like, bruh, are you serious? As for the mountain, I told you before, 
Now I remember that I, I took reference from that artwork. Dude, it's not reference. It's literally not reference. You don't reference the same exact lines. You don't. Look at it. It's it's a copy paste. It actually is a copy paste. Look at the look at this look at the sky behind it. These clouds right behind it are also the same exact thing. That's crazy. They should honestly just turn everything on Twisted Vacancy's profile, all the collections, all the artwork, literally just switch the name to our next. <laughs> That'd be so funny. That's crazy. Look, all these people are trying to sell the, off their pieces. I wonder what's going to happen to Twisted Vacancy's drop this coming weekend. Like if we look at Twitter, we go to Twisted Vacancy. He was going to have a drop on March 18th, which is in eight days. But now I'm curious to see what his response is going to be to this and what Nifty Gateway is going to do for the like for this drop like are they gonna still let him drop because i actually was a big fan of the work and then i stumbled upon this and now like i don't know it's kind of sus let me guys know what you think in the comments but i'm definitely not purchasing any twisted vacancy i was literally just looking at purchasing some on nifty gateway because the prices are pretty low right now oh especially this one this one's actually a really good piece it's just unfortunate that it was really plagiarized like it's a really good piece. It just feels kind of shameful owning anything from this artist. It's kind of weird. The craziest part about this is that when the finery was doing a Zoom call with Twisted Vacancy, according to Ardnext, he basically said, Twisted Vacancy said that the team consists of 28 software and tech guys who don't know much about art or even basic color theory. And they had this visual asset bank of artworks. They collected it from Pinterest. They repurpose and recompose to make NFT art in collage and retrace methods. I kind of, kind of sounds legit. I don't know about 28 guys, maybe artists, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm really interested to see what happens. So definitely follow along with this. It's going to be making a huge splash. I know there's been a lot of other instances where people have been taking art because there's really no way to like take it off the blockchain. You can literally copy and paste art and then mint it and then someone can purchase it, right? And then another thing, there's also like this thing where with the tweets and stuff, where if you look at the founder of Twitter, he basically had this thing where he minted his tweet and started selling it basically. And it ran up to like $2 million or something on auction. And there's been reports that a lot of other people are getting their original tweets like stolen and then minted using that same exact platform. So it's actually really interesting, especially with blockchain, because you literally just cannot, like once it's there, it's there forever. So you can't really do like a DMCA copyright thing when, you know, it's on the blockchain and like, it, it's just going to, the, the NFT is going to be there forever. So we'll see what happens. Um, just wanted to make this quick video while the event was actually going underway. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. See ya.